Hi guys, Chris here and you are watching Here We Are Running. We are live, we are here in my garden. It's Saturday, it is nine o'clock. Now normally that would mean it was park run time, but of course we aren't living in normal times at the moment. So I've been missing park run. I'm sure that some of you have as well. And um, I would just would like to uh, do something, a little bit of fun and why not, eh? So I'm here in my garden, we're live. We're going to try and do a park run distance in the garden, um, so the 5k distance, and hopefully um, it's not going to be too difficult. But of course, that does mean quite a lot of laps, and that means that we will be doing 125 laps. It's a 40 meter course, accurately measured, I might add. Um, so first things of course we've got to do is uh, just say if you are going to enjoy this video um, I hope you all do but do, do hit the like button as you're watching that would be fantastic um, and uh, I think we should get straight over to the first timers briefing I'm going to switch over to this other camera here on the phone phone so hopefully you can hear and see me now um, okay so firstly the start is over there um, it's the start finish um, so we've got a little bit of a straight patch here um, as we come up to the first bend there is quite a lot of bends in this course by the way guys um, we're going to come around the bend and then we're going to head up towards the swings under dipping underneath the tree there right we're at the swings round the swings past the washing line which i've taken down especially to today <laughs> over to my fence a 90 degree bend here another 90 degree bend and we are back at the start finish. Can you see that down there? That is the start finishing line. So, guys, um, just, uh, I just composed myself here slightly. Uh, I've also got these headphones on. I'm going to try and get some messages coming through. I just need to adjust the sound because they're coming through a little bit loud at the moment. Okay. So, if you want to leave a uh, a comment in the chat please do so. I will try and do some shout outs. Can't promise I'll get to everyone. Um, as I say, some of them will be relayed through to me as we go. Just uh, getting my watch ready for this. Okay. Um, so I think it's about time to start, don't you? Okay. In five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Right. And we are off on lap number one. And hopefully you will see the laps appearing on the screen each time I cross the start finishing line right now. So first lap done, only 124 more to go. Right, so I saw some of the comments that came through earlier. So I see that Dan Runs is watching. Shout out to Dan. And uh, Daniel, shout out to you too. Thanks for watching. Thanks everyone for tuning in. And we got Rod Lambert. Shout out to you, Rod. No, I need to cut the corner there. Don't want to do that. So I've already lost count of how many laps I'm on. But if you've done the math right, you'll know that it's 25 laps for a kilometre. I will check what time I have on my watch when I get to 25 laps. Hey, we've got Karma here too. Hi, Karma. Uh, 
And the hardest part of doing this is actually not the running at the moment, it's the holding the phone camera. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> there's going to be quite a lot of switching hands, I think. David East, good morning to you. Ah, so comment came through. How am I counting the laps? Good question. So <laughs> I've got a few helpers today. Um, and one of them is on lap counter duties and uh, they're pressing a button every time I cross the line. In fact, I've got two of them doing that. So hopefully they uh, come up with the same result. And uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll switch direction halfway. I could do that. I'll see how I'm going, eh? I know a lot of people have. Uh, done uh, other types of runs in their gardens. We see quite a few marathon attempts. And uh, oh, I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> Sorry, that's just too much hard work for me. Um, but why not eh? a park run? It's only 5k. I did a little practice run of just over a kilometre yesterday just to make sure all the technology was working right here. So Hopefully it doesn't fail on the on the real day. My headphones, right. Oh, so Ginger Al, hello to you. And uh, yeah, my headphones. So I've got the Aftershocks, Trex, Titan Tre Trex Titanium headphones, uh, which is the uh, best value for money, I, I guess you call it, the lowest cost Aftershocks headphones. They're bone conductor and they work really well for me. I use them on all my runs. It means you can see, oh, here, you've got some awareness around you, but still pretty good for taking phone calls, listening to music um, in terms of today. This is just a phone call through to the uh, headphones so that I can have the comments relayed to me. And apologies if I do miss some. If I'm talking at the same time as my wife's relaying the comments to me, I might miss them, but uh, doing the best here. Ah, uh, yes. So, comment about wearing out my shoes. Um, good point. It's only 5k. And uh, I have to wait for that comment to come through again. I didn't, I didn't catch that last one. Um, but, uh, yeah, I could wear out my shoe. Oh, and you notice there, a little slip. There was some dew on the grass this morning when I got up. It's, most of it's dried out, but need to be a little bit careful. Um, I am wearing stability shoes for this. What's up, fella? Right, we're at 25 laps, apparently, and just over seven minutes on my watch. So you can see, even though I'm putting a reasonable effort in here, just doing all these bends, it really does slow you down a bit. Um, so obviously not going flat out or anything, but you can tell I'm I'm putting a bit of effort into this. And there we go, seven, just over seven minutes for the first kilometer, according to one of my lap counters. Ah, um, Rich Runner, I think the comment came from. Ditch, sorry, Ditch Runner. Um, He's running with me. He's doing his run on his treadmill. Brilliant stuff. And what better way to run 5K on a treadmill? Or well, maybe he's doing further because he's probably going quicker than me. But uh, 
Yeah, brilliant job. <laughs> so comment there uh, about using the patio to mix up the terrain. I did think about that, but uh, would have required slightly less turns. Um, but it would have also meant stepping up, stepping down. And you can guarantee, whilst it might have made a good video, I was bound to trip up on that step, wasn't I? In the middle of a live stream. So I thought I'll stick to the grass this time around. But hey, if we do this again, who knows? Maybe we'll change the course. Hey, Ryan, shout out to you. And guys, that's just dropped my memory. Um, so if you haven't already seen, did a video last week about an idea I had for making a running positivity video, running during what are difficult times. And I asked for as many of you as possible to submit some clips. If you haven't seen that already, have a look. To explain to all that you need to do on there, what clips to record, how to get them to me. Today is the final day for submission. We've had quite a few in already. I think we're up to about 10 different people submitting stuff at the moment, but um, hopefully get some more coming through today. If you haven't seen that already, check that video out from earlier in the week. And uh, yeah, if you can, it'd be great to have some more clips submitted. And then I will make a, hopefully, a good collaboration video um, from it all. <laughs> so Alex Douglas, shout out to you. And uh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you to the marshals. I've got three of them here helping behind the scenes. Uh, so they're doing a great job so far. So, oh, David, will there be cake at the end? Uh, you wouldn't want me making cake, that's for sure. But uh, we have got some good cake makers in the family. We'll soon see. So, Dan is saying, where's the runner in the buggy that's going to overtake me? I tell you what, this course is a bit too twisty-turny for the buggies, I reckon. I'd have them well on this one. <laughs> that's fantastic, guys. I hear there's 27 people watching at the moment. That's brilliant. Thank you all for tuning in on your Saturday morning. I hope you are all having a really good Easter, given the circumstances, making the best of it that you can. I know that in some countries, people aren't even able to go out for exercise at the moment. In the UK here, we are fortunate in that we can go out once a day for a daily exercise. Uh, but today, obviously, I won't need to do that. <laughs> so Ryan saying, when I get to 120, give my wife a pre-warning to get the kettle on. Uh, I, don't, I don't think she was impressed with that, Ryan. <laughs> Recreational runner, hello to you. I didn't get the whole comment there. Do you repeat that? Uh, 
<laughs> watching a plasterboard fix tutorial. <laughs> Surely this is more entertaining than that. We're on 52 now, okay. So we've apparently missed the 50 count, but we're on 52. Uh, we're on 12. Uh, okay, we've got a discrepancy, maybe. Uh, okay, well, it was just over 12 minutes, I believe, when we got to 50-ish. And I must, I must say, I must say to the recreational runner, I watched your video uh, this morning about you shaving off all your hair. So well done to that. <laughs> and uh, check out his YouTube channel if you want to see someone who had a reasonable amount of hair, doesn't have any anymore, <laughs> doing it for charity. Great right, cause. Shout out to my sister, JB, up there in Edinburgh. So, I am definitely building up a sweat doing this. So, if anyone thinks uh, you never get in a relatively small garden, you never get enough space to do exercise, you certainly can. So, that second kilometre was certainly looking at my average pace at the moment, a second kilometre. It was definitely faster than the first. I've got to be careful here. I'm not even halfway yet. Yeah, I've had quite a few comments like that, John, asking if I can remember my barcode. I'll tell you what, scanner's not working. It won't count. <laughs> so if we've got anyone watching from a different part of the world, I think most of the names that I've heard I recognise from being UK viewers. And obviously, don't expect people stateside to probably be up this early. But if you're watching from another part of the world, let us know where you're watching from and uh, see how global we've gone today. So guys, I think some of you asked about direction. Quite happy sticking with my one direction at the moment. What happened to that band, eh? <laughs> yes, Dan. I don't want to be on you, be fine, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I recreation run, I think you're asking about the, the living room marathon. That was Dan Runs. He did that on Monday. He's got a video on his channel for that. And I interviewed him yesterday, actually. If you haven't seen that, uh, check out those videos. Apparently, we, we reached 75. And uh, 17 and a half minutes, I'd make it roughly. Or the 3K mark. Hmm. So I don't know if someone's asked the question, am I going to do this every Saturday? I don't think so, guys. Um, <laughs> but if you'd like me to, leave a comment and uh, we'll see, maybe do it once a month or something like that. In fact, I was thinking if anybody wants to join me, like uh, on a treadmill or in your garden and you've got a camera that you can hook up to Zoom, for example, then uh, we could uh, go through you guys and set it up on Zoom. As well as everyone watching me, we could uh, see as a community how we're all doing as well. So if that's of interest, now that we've hopefully proven the technology out, then uh, let us know. We'll see what we can arrange. Chris Hawes, hi to you. Big shout out. Hope you're doing well. Extraordinary adventures of a runner, I think it was. So go on, Chris. Thanks, mate. Whew. So, I should have worn a visor for this. I'm getting sweat dripping into my eyes now. Schoolboy error. That's good, Greg. Uh, good to hear you like the idea of the Zoom. I'll tell you what, guys. As well as dropping a comment below, letting us know that you're interested in that, drop me an email. Here we are running, all one word, at outlook.com. Uh, just uh, so I know who's really interested. And we'll see if we can set something up a future Saturday at 9 a.m. So, have we got anyone? from my local park run in Rygate watching. I know some people are probably tuned into the big park run quiz. <laughs> it was suggested that I do that whilst running around here. Whoa. <laughs> Baby steps. Let's not get, let's not get too uh, complicated for the first time. But hey, who knows? Could do that again. Oh. Simon Chung, shout out to you. So I think the course is holding up fairly well, guys. It's drying out nicely. It's amazing, actually. Okay, so we've had a few good weeks of weather now, as you'll have seen if you've watched videos recently. Uh, but I'll tell you what, our autumn and winter 
was just a washout. And I was expecting the ground to not really dry out as quickly as it has. It's pretty pretty firm, it's even cracking in places. Hopefully those uh, laps are still increasing on your screen. We must be coming up to 100 soon, I'd say. Uh. And I will be glad to see the 4K coming up at 100. So here we are on 100 now uh, in just under 24 minutes. That is quicker than I was expecting, to be honest. I wonder if we can break 30 minutes. Okay, Daniel, you're all. You're asking about my sunglasses. These are Gooder sunglasses, which is a very popular brand for runners. I'll put them down briefly. Oh yeah, um, they're great. They they are not expensive, and they don't slip around a lot. So yeah, definitely recommend. And at the moment, if you go to their site. They're doing 20% off, so they're normally £25 each. Uh, they're selling them for 20 They're good. Uh, G double O D R. Good R. So, as I say, 20% off at the moment, and I get nothing from them. So, that's just my own personal opinion. Hey, Colin. Colin is from Rygate Park Run. Also, volunteers on the junior park run with me. How'd you get on the quiz, Colin? Thanks, everyone, for the encouragement being relayed through. How many? Okay. Uh, 
So, I don't think we've got many to go now. Must be about 10. So, Shout out to AJ. Thank you for the words of encouragement, AJ. We're going to get this done. I don't know what sort of time it'll be. It's not really about the time, but certainly quicker than I was expecting. Ooh, once you get into a bit of a ribbon, uh, you guys want a sprint finisher? Uh, I'm not the best sprint finisher, to tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> right so Colin has asked me a parkrun question I think I know the answer to and it's are there more or less parkruns in South Africa than Australia so I'm saying South Africa has more parkruns I think it's in second place after the UK am I right or wrong Under 34. Right, we're on the last lap, guys, I believe. Are we done? Yes. Are we done? Whoa. Right, let's switch over. Oh. We switch over We're on the webcam now with uh, webcam audio. Cool, right. Yes, guys. Whoo! Didn't really get a sprint finish on it then. Didn't stop my watch. Okay, I have stopped my watch on exactly 30. So it is just under 30 by the time I finished. 30 minutes, up 30, for my first garden distance park run. Oh, I've got sweat dripping into my eyes. I did, uh, I did put a bit of effort into there, as you saw, hopefully. Um, but it was all a bit of fun, guys. It was all a bit of fun. Glad to hear some of you are interested in watching this sort of stuff again. If you haven't commented yet, if you're watching on the replay, do add a comment. Let me know whether you found this enjoyable or not to watch. And uh, we'll see if we do something like this again. Guys, I hope you are all having the best time you can, making the best out of it that you can. Oh, great, thanks. Oh. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, and that whatever you're doing, wherever you are, that you enjoy what you can at Easter. I think we have to be grateful for the times we have now. Uh, these aren't normal times, but it will really make us appreciate when things do go back to normal. So enjoy the rest of your Easter break. Uh, stay at home, stay safe. I shall see you in the next video.